All right, welcome to day two. We're going to talk about posting to your avatar, who you are talking to when you are making a post. What's an avatar? Well, an avatar <laughs> <laughs> would be like your ideal customer, your ideal challenger, or future coach. Mm -hmm. So your avatar is a lot like you. Yes. Similar interests, similar likes, dislikes. Gorgeous. You, yeah. Flawless. <laughs> <laughs> and they, um, you know, you know, they you relate to them. They like the way that you speak. It's just like talking to your best friend. Mm -hmm. And um, so when you're talking to them, you think about who you want to work with. And as you're writing, that's who you're talking to. Because if you try to appeal to everybody, you're, you're going to appeal to nobody. <laughs> that's exactly right. Um, so just be natural. Think about what separates you from everyone else. Mm -hmm. um, Julia and I like laugh because it's like we're like half and half. Because like I'm totally more focused on the nutrition and not the exercise guru, and she's like a fitness freak over here. <laughs> <laughs> but I eat like the same meals every single day. <laughs> right. So it's like I don't have anything exciting to post about for nutrition, really. And she's over here making like brownies out of beans. <laughs> and <laughs> Exactly. So we play to our strengths. We don't try to be anyone that we're not. And as much as I like look up to other coaches and I try to emulate what they do, I don't hold myself to like the standard of Bonnie Ingle or like somebody else. I hold myself to the best version of Alexandra Peterson is who I'm going to be. And that's what separates me from every other Beachbody coach. Because mm -hmm. we're all doing the same thing thing but we're all completely different people and exactly. not everyone's meant to work with everyone exactly guys you got to think that there's over 400,000 beach body coaches so why would somebody want to work with you and the way that you are going to find people who are going to choose you over the person sitting next to you is that they feel like they connect with you and that's by how you're presenting yourself on your social media so if you're trying to be super professional and super uptight and super perfect, you're not going to attract people because it seems fake, because it's not really who you are. When you look at my Facebook, that's not what mine is like. I've got weird emojis and, you know, um, me with like messy buns and just I talk like I talk. I don't I use, swear on my face. Yeah, exactly. She <laughs> swears. I don't go that far because my Abita would come up here and shoot me. But, you know, we, you've got to appeal to you. And so, like, you know, I looked through my, my social media because that's just who I am. I'm a workout person. I will work out three, four times a day and I can't get enough of it. <laughs> I, like, I'm all about the workout. The food, I suck at it. Like, I and I'm not very good. I have meal plans that I can put together for people and stuff, and, like, I hope you do it, but I'm going to eat the same exact thing every day because I don't like to play with all the recipes and stuff like she does. How do you live? <laughs> <laughs> so, for me, like, I looked through my May Facebook. I had one food picture, you guys. One. There was literally one picture of food in the whole entire month of May. And I had a ton of other pictures, obviously, but I had nine ab selfies. <laughs> and um, what's your success club points at? <laughs> yeah, right. I had, and I'm at success club 16 right now. And so, like, for me, I attract people who are wanting to push themselves in their workouts to get a body that they want. That's more my niche. You know, some people out there work with people who are working on getting healthy and learning how to create healthy meals and weight stuff loss. like that, weight loss. And I'm more of like, I'm already in decent shape, yeah. but I want abs. That's the people I get. Right. Mostly. And that's the season of your life that you're in, too. Exactly. Because right now, I'm not, nobody's going to get abs from me right now. That's not <laughs> like, hello, eight months pregnant right now. <laughs> but I can tell you how to stay healthy and how to, like, still achieve goals without having to push yourself physically. And right. And right now, that's what I do. So basically what we're telling you is that you need to think about what you're good at. And if you feel like you are trying to, like, we're telling you, you know, post three to five times a day, post a workout picture, post to this, and you're feeling like one of those things is super forced for you, realize that, that just means that you need to harness in on the other parts Yay. that are easier for you. Ooh. I'm not saying never post a food picture. Yay. And I, I'm not saying don't work out. Right. But... 
definitely know where you're going to rock it and and work that and work that. If you are somebody who's in super great shape and you've got a freaking six pack, you should have nine ab <laughs> selfies. At least. Okay? <laughs> like, know what people are going to come to you for. And that's what people come to me for. Um, it's basically just realizing that when you're posting, you're posting to that ideal person that you want to attract. And if you want to attract someone like you, then that means they like the same things that you like. And if you like to work out, but you aren't that super into the nutrition part, then you should be posting about your workouts because you're going to attract somebody just like you who's like, you know, I'll do my the bare minimum with the nutrition and just kind of eat the same thing every day. I love Shakeology because it simplifies it. But, like, I want to know what all these workouts have to offer. And I want to know how you struggle and how you succeed. And I want to see your results. Like, people who want, you know, that's the that's money a big maker. thing. Like, you have to be a product of the product and be showing your results. And when you're talking about them, you should be talking how I'm talking right now. I'm talking to you guys just like I would talk to you if you were right in front of me. I'm not sugarcoating this. This is not, if you can't tell, we're not like super scripted. We have what? like, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, this is super professional. Seriously, legit. <laughs> but you should be talking in a post, like it's a f text to a friend who just said, I need some motivation today. Yeah, or, oh my God, my pants don't fit anymore. Yeah. How would you respond to your friend? It definitely wouldn't be, you know, you should try Shakeology because it's filled with prebiotics and probiotics. Exactly. You need to talk like it's your best friend. So, assignment for today. I think a cool assignment, we didn't even talk about this, see? Mm -hmm. See how unprepared we are. <laughs> I think a cool assignment for today would be for everybody to think about what their avatar is, who they are, what are they, is your avatar 300 pounds and wants to lose weight? Is your avatar... Like, says, like, oh, I, I look terrible, and you look at them, and you're like, girl, what? <laughs> you look great? Like, who's your person? Because, like, my app, my person looks great, but right. they don't think they do. And my person's probably a new mom. Exactly. And you need to know who your person is, and then I would like for all of you guys to tell me what you rock at as a coach. What are you That's the a good assignment. best at as a coach? Like, you know, I'm going to say for me... I'm the best at providing workout um, motivation and motivation that your body can achieve a lot. Right. And I would say that my strength would definitely be recipes and food pictures, but also just being like really real on my page mm -hmm. and like just talking about my struggles mm -hmm. a ton, especially with motherhood. Mm -hmm. And that's something that makes people very attracted to Allie is that she's able to really talk about the negatives in life too. And so people feel like they know her, like they feel like they've been on her journey with her. Um, and, and that's not something I'm super good at. I kind of sugarcoat and like you know, only show the highlights of my life, like the highlight reel on Facebook, which is something that obviously <laughs> I'm working on. But, but um, I do dig deep when it comes to my workouts and showing that with people. And so that's where I think people really feel like, well, if she's doing it, I can do it too. Right. So let us know what makes you a really good coach and why your avatar should pick you as a coach instead of me. And, and instead of her. And we didn't say, tell us your weaknesses. Nobody wants to hear about yeah, that today. No, I don't want to hear that. I just want to hear what you're good at. <laughs> I don't care about anything else. <laughs>